Hey guys, it's Chassis from Burning Skies. Wanted to do a quick update on the settings for DCS um, that I'm using currently with my Pimax Crystal Super. Firstly, a big thank you to Pimax for sending out the Pimax Crystal Super for me to use. I wanted to give an update in terms of the settings that I'm using, um, as well as I've had some comments and stuff on the last video I did that I wanted to um, also just cover off, um, I had a good suggestion as well around using smart smoothing. The Pimax Play settings, um, I've got refresh rate at 90. Um, I've turned off eye tracking because I don't need it at the moment. I'm not using any sort of, any sort of foveated rendering. And then for the game settings, so my field of view is normal. The image quality is medium. GPU scaling, I've turned this on to um, quality and NIS. Um, things look a lot clearer or a bit better actually with this setting on, so I'm quite happy with that at the moment. The sharpness I haven't done anything with. Uh, like I said, um, fixed vibrated rendering. I'm not using that quad views or anything like that at the moment. I've turned smart smoothing on um, and locked the frame rate to half the frame rate. Um, so what's happening is I'm getting, instead of getting 90 frames per second, now I'm getting 45 frames per second. But with smart smoothing, you don't notice a difference or if there is a difference, I can't see it. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying these settings because it means I have a much more stable frame rate with no drops. Everything is really super smooth and the quality of the resolution is really high. So I would recommend you give this a shot as well. Um, have a shot with the frame rate set to 45. Have a go with setting the Pimax play settings max to 90 frames per second and then enable smart smoothing and enable lock to half frame rate. Uh, there's no other settings here that I would set up or play around with. Um, that's pretty much it. Then, so for the Nvidia settings for DCS, I'm using a lot of just the standard settings. I haven't changed too much. If anything, late, low latency mode is ultra, um, so there's no desync or you don't feel any like uh, lagginess or slowness in responsiveness with the headset. Uh, set your frame rate to 45 frames per second as well. I think it's good to have 45 set in here as well as in the other applications just so they're all synced and everyone, everything's just pushing to 45 frames per second. Like I said, with the smooth, smart smoothing, everything's going to feel really smooth and your resolution is going to be super high, so you might like the setting, um, but it's, there's no harm in trying it. Uh, power management mode, make sure you've got that to prefer maximum performance. Um, make sure you've got virtual reality pre-rendered frames to one as well. So for my DCS settings, um, just the background's 1080p, but if you want, you can lower this to a lower resolution means your PC will be putting out less resolution on screen which is fine you're not really worried about that it's more the resolution inside the Pimax that you care about. Uh, Resocock Pix is 1024 DLSS um, I like quality just so that everything looks a lot more smoother and sharper. Um, sharpening I've got at 0.5 now these days. Texture's high, terrain texture's high. Shadows are medium. Um, I like flat sh shadows blur. I had some comments about it, but you're welcome to try without it off. Um, secondary shadows are on. Uh, screen space shadows are on. Um, my visibility range is set to ultra. I don't really notice a difference between ultra and extreme. When it comes to spotting targets, sorry, when it comes to spotting airframes that are 30 miles out while I'm doing it away, um, I'm able to see, you can see the, um, the dots or the pixels of those aircraft even with DLSS on, so so that's not really a concern here with, with me at least. I'm pretty happy with the visibility I have of, of the headset. Um, have sieve traffic off. Clouds look great in ultra, so keep them on. Water isn't a big deal, so I just said it's a low. Um, SSAO is off, SSLR's off as well. Um, these settings you're welcome to play with, but I have to keep these settings as they... I don't really notice any pop-in, which is good, and the quality's there, so there's nothing really immersion breaking for me. Um, also, just remember to set your max FPS to 45 frames per second um, and your anisotropic uh, filtering. I've got it at 8. You can put it to 16 if you want to, but 8 looks really good as well. 
um, for terrain object shadows. I've got it as default, but um, it just makes the ground look great. But you're, you can turn that down if you're struggling with frames. Um, rain droplets are great. And then just lastly, so VR settings, make sure you got pixel density at one. Um, I've got the IPD set to my IPD. Uh, MSAA is at 0 0.33. Um, so all that's good. And then just lastly, I'm using, uh, well, I'm not using MBookers OpenXR, I'm actually using the default Pimax um, OpenXR. So um, make sure you go into OpenXR API layers and you don't have these checked. Otherwise, you'll notice there's some issues with um, smart smoothing and using other OpenXR. That's pretty much it for me. I uh, hope to see you guys flying on the server soon. Let me know how you go with these settings. I'm interested to hear what everyone else is kind of seeing. But um, like I said, uh, 45 frames per second, but it feels really smooth. So you don't even, it doesn't feel like it's 45. It feels like it's, it feels like it's 90s, which is actually quite good. Um, that's all for me. I'll catch you guys later.